I'll do your reading. Now, where were we? Oh yes, out in the desert there was Moses and there were the people of Israel gathered by the mountain of God. And there were clouds and there was lightning and thunder and frightening trumpets and everyone trembled with fear. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. That's got to be good. You shall not let anything get in the way between you and me, especially nothing that you have bought or made yourself even if it looks like what I've made. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God. God's ready to let you off almost anything, but not that. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Can you enjoy yourself when you're being holy? I can. Six days you shall labour and do all your work. Have a day off. Doesn't do you any harm. Honour your father and mother. And if you teach your own children this one, you needn't worry when you're getting on a bit. Do not kill. I wonder if people will find a way round that one. You shall not commit adultery. Adultery? I don't think this has much to do with being adult. Maybe we should put it this way. If you've got a partner, you look after them. Be good to them. Trust them and help them to trust you. You shall not steal. Not even from someone who has more than you do. You shall not bear false witness. Don't tell lies to get somebody else into trouble. Ah, ah, now at last we're getting somewhere. You shall not covet your neighbour's house, partner, servant, ox or donkey. Yay! Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous about anything that belongs to your neighbour. It all makes a lot of sense. So why didn't they listen 